That just sounds like we are getting into uh, 2022 on a rather a bumpy note and that it could be rough for the markets in the coming year. I mean, I, I think that we will see some continued volatility in the fourth quarter, um, but I do think economic growth is on track. It's the supply chain disruptions that is go are going to have to be digested by many companies. And, you know, let, let's not forget that Washington is sitting on a big old spending bill that uh, increases taxes for corporations. If it goes through as advertised, it would hit uh, S&P earnings by about $9 a share. So this would be not the best time for that. Um, you know, like Paul Tudor Jones, I imagine I lived through the 70s stagflation. This isn't that, but if you continue to see wage uh, price inflation and, and um, strikes from union employees, that's how the, the 70s stagflation spiral began. It was, you know, cost of living adjustments that drove up uh, wages. And even with the price increase or the wage increases that we've seen in the U.S., wage uh, increases on a real basis are still negative. So that's something that um, we'll be watching very closely. It takes a lot of productivity uh, to to um, offset the kind of wage increases we've seen. Sure. Right, Nancy. I mean, we may not be there yet, uh, you know, just uh, kind of uh, uh, banking on you for your experience. But down the road, what convinces you that we are not headed that way uh, in terms of staring at a stagflationary scenario, uh, given especially the pressures that we're seeing in the labor market? Well, of course, there's no guarantee. And we're certainly concerned about that. We have a low probability on it. Um, you know, you, there have to be other factors in place, like a recession, for example, uh, like massive uh, increase in, in rate hikes by the Federal Reserve. So far, we're just in a mode of, well, we're probably going to be less accommodative in the fourth quarter. You know, we think the Fed waited too long. It's a moot point. It is what it is. But we also think the Fed is hard pressed. Uh, to raise rates uh, very quickly, which does not mean, Tanvir, that the bond vigilantes won't do it for the Fed. But we think that rates are going to stay somewhat muted. Uh, economic growth, manufacturing, uh, you, you know, consumption, the consumer still has plenty of cash despite what they've spent. Those are all things that bode well for the economy. But there are some headwinds and there's some clouds overhead. If Washington goes through with this massive spending bill, tax increases, not just on corporations, but on individuals, that's going to have a chilling effect on, on the economy and then subsequently, therefore, the markets. Uh, and Nancy, uh, before we go very quickly, so how do you play the market in terms of your high conviction stock calls then? So despite what you're going to hear, um, technology do has done better than most any other sector in the last five rising interest rate environments. Be selective. You want to own cybersecurity. You want to own the cloud infrastructure names, data aggregation in the cloud. And then we still like consumer discretionary where it meets digital materials and energy should be your overweight.